I already told Master Yoda. I don't want to spy on a colleague and an old friend. Old friend? How well do you know Clovis? Why does that matter? That was before we were together. I am just trying to get a sense of who this guy is. I'll need to brief whoever does end up spying on him. Oh. I thought you were here to talk me into becoming an agent for the Jedi. That is not a job for you. I don't agree with the Council on this. If Clovis is involved in a Separatist conspiracy, the last place you should be is anywhere near him. Clovis is conspiring with the Separatists? Yoda didn't tell me that. I can't believe Clovis would do that. This is terrible. I never expected that from him. Someone has to find out the truth. Someone does. Just not you. Why not me? Because it's going to be dangerous. Whoever takes this mission will be putting their life at risk. I've been in many tough situations before. It never seemed to bother you. I never stopped you from facing danger. You're constantly getting shot at. I've been trained for that. It's very different from spying on a traitor. You mean I can't handle the mission? <sighs> I mean I'm not gonna let you do it. You're not going to let me? It's not your decision to make. It's mine. Lucky for us, you've already decided to refuse. Actually, I just changed my mind. You've convinced me that it's vital to learn what Clovis is doing. I accept the mission to spy on him. Even though I'm telling you not to. Don't take it personally, Anakin. Duty comes first. Especially in wartime. First, I'll need to get back in touch with him. Clovis and I haven't spoken in a long time. A surprise, that is, given your past. What does that mean, Senator? At one point, Clovis and I were close. It was my choice to return things to a strictly professional level. Clovis didn't take it well. Do you think you'll be able to rekindle your friendship with him? Master, Senator Clovis is a very dangerous man. If he realizes she's trying to trick him... I'm aware of the risks, Master Jedi. But I know I can regain Clovis's trust. Good. The closer you can get to him, the better. I understand. I'll do whatever is necessary to succeed in my mission. Then I'll do whatever I have to to protect her. It's been good to see you again, Clovis. I didn't realize how lonely I was until tonight. Perhaps I can do more to ease your loneliness once I return from K2 Namordia. Ah, oh, you're taking a pleasure trip? Hardly. I'm going there to put the fear of Scipio in those overgrown Trade Federation grumps. You know how they are. They love to borrow money from the banking clan, but they hate to pay it back. <laughs> Maybe you can say a few words on my behalf. I'm on the holonet with the Nemoidians every day asking for trade concessions, but I can't ever seem to make progress. I've got an idea. Come with me to Kato and Amoria, and speak to them in person. I have leverage from the banking clan. You have diplomatic contacts. We can help each other. Are you inviting me for political reasons, or because you want us to be friends again? Both, of course. Although I'm far more interested in your friendship than your politics. In that case, I'll be happy to go with you. It'll be like old times. On the contrary, I hope it'll be much better than old times. Senator Clovis. Padme, you look exquisite. If you get tired, you can rest your head on my shoulder. Allow me, my lady. Oh, and this one's broken. <laughs> Too bad. We're ready for takeoff, Captain. All I have to do is fly the ship.